Battle Brain! The Busy World of Richard Scary. There! I think I see Saturn. It's right behind the couch. I knew I'd find it. Saturn's my favorite planet. You sure have some great stuff here, Billy Dog. I'll say, it must be great to have an astrologer for a mom. Astronomer, Huckle. An astronomer is a scientist who studies the stars. There you are, boys. I'm taking some boxes up to the observatory tonight. Would you like to join me? Oh, you wow, bet. Oh, yes, sure. Please. I've never been to the busy town observatory before. It sure is neat to have you for a friend. Oh, look! The wishing star! Professor Dog, what's that star really called? Hmm. I think that's the Huckle Star. Mom, there's no such thing as the Huckle Star. Your mom should know, Billy. She's the astronomer. Maybe there's a lonely star up there somewhere. Wow! I didn't know the observatory was so big. Wait till you see the telescope inside. That's really big. Now, where'd I put those observatory keys? Here they are, Mom, where they always are. How silly of me. Now, when you're in the Mount Busy Observatory, you can use the telescope. But you must be very careful. <sighs> wow! Billy, why don't you show Huckle and Loli how to use the main telescope? I'll be upstairs unpacking some boxes. Wow, Huckle! Look at the size of that telescope! Boy, Billy Dog, if I were you, I'd be up here all the time. Tonight's a perfect night for viewing Saturn. So, Loli, you take the gears, and Huckle, you take the viewfinder. Oh, boy! Okay, Loli, two and a half turns east by southwest. Wait! Stop! I've got a comet! It's, it's zooming all over! A comet? It couldn't be. Oh. Can I see? Can I see? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Stardust. You called, Professor? Everyone, meet my assistant, Mr. Stardust. I'm afraid he's your comet, Huckle. Hi there, Huckle. First time at the observatory, huh? We just can't keep Billy out of the place. So, Billy, you ready for the big move tomorrow? Huh? What move? When? Mom! I'm sure I told you, dear. We're moving from our house in Busy Town to the... But we just moved to Busy Town. And now we're moving? Again? Why didn't you tell me? Why, I must have, dear. It's right here. Things to do. Verify vector of Venus. Oh. Hmm. Very strange. I don't understand what happened. Plot path of Pluto. Why, I'm sure I had tell Billy about move in here. But, but you just moved here. Mom's job takes us all over the place to different observatories. Well, hi, boys. You know, Huckle, Mrs. Stardust and I are moving too. We always move with Billy and his mom. 
Don't worry, Billy. This move's gonna be a cinch. I don't even want to hear about it. Oh, there are my car keys. Now, I, I don't think I've forgotten anything else. Hey, don't forget me! I'm stuck! Almost done. Let's move these boxes out. Now, where did I put that packing tape? Hi, boys. Uh, Huckle, could you go in and help Billy? He seems kind of down. Okay. I guess he's still sad about having to move again. And Loli, I need an extra finger. Uh, I mean... How about a foot, Mrs. Stardust? Thank you, Loli. Uh, Mrs. Stardust? <laughs> um, hi, Billy. Do you need some help? Uh, sure. You can help me sort some of this stuff. There are a lot of things I won't need anymore. Maybe you could use them. Well, thanks, Billy, but you don't have to give me anything. <clears throat> oh. All aboard! Well, that's it. I'll see if the professor needs a hand. <gasps> I wish you weren't going, Billy. Me too. I really like it here in Busy Town. Do you remember when we first met? I thought you were a bully, and you thought I was a bully? <laughs> <laughs> Those were the good old days. So, how have you boys? Billy, aren't you going to pack these things? No. That's just some stuff I'm giving to Huckle. Your scout uniform? Don't you have a meeting tomorrow? Yes, but I won't be part of the scout troop anymore. What do you mean? Well, we're moving, aren't we? We're not moving away from Busy Town. We're just moving up to the observatory. You're going to live in the observatory? With the big telescope? Oh, boy! That's great, Mom. This will be the best move ever. Can anyone give me a hand, please? Imagine that. Stars are so romantic. I wish I could see them better. Your wish is my command. When I look at the world through my telescope, what a wonderful world I see. When I look through a tube with a magnifying lens at the end, things look closer and look bigger to me. Through my telescope, what a wonderful world I see. I see ships on the ocean and stars in the sky, all those far away things. When I look at the world through my telescope, far away things look closer to me. Through my telescope, what a wonderful world I see. Ooh, there's the man in the moon. Nope, Hilda, it's just me. Dobry dien. And welcome to Russia. We're in the town of St. Petersburg, and this train is the Moscow Express. And in that box is a valuable diamond frame painting from the Hermitage Museum. It's being taken to Moscow for an exhibition. St. Petersburg is a very old city, full of beautiful buildings, like the Winter Palace and all the tall cathedrals. Bud's gone. Not the painting. Yet, not the painting. The diamonds in the frame are missing. <gasps> stolen. Stolen. Wait. This sounds like a job for Sniff, the best detective in Europe. Attention. Watch your step, Sniff. It is an honor to meet the distinguished detective Sniff. 
Sniff, s'il vous plaît. Stop dilly dallying and get off that helicopter. And be careful, there's a bridge ahead. Oh. Right away, monsieur. There you are, Sniff. I went to the dining car for a bowl of borscht, and when I came back, the diamonds were gone. The train has been moving too fast for anyone to get off. Therefore, the thief must still be on board. Aha! Sniff, s'il vous plaît, look at this. Do you notice anything peculiar? Yes, there is water on the floor. Eh bien, our first clue. The thief left a puddle of water by the crate. But why? The thief was thirsty? Come, Sniff. We must question the passengers. What poor artistry. Notice the fellow's eyes. They are too close together. And the nose, oh, it is too much big. <coughs> ah, pardon, madame. Madame, where have you been since this train left St. Petersburg? I've been working on my latest painting. I call it Landscape by Train. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to rinse my paintbrushes. Hm. Aha! You have given yourself away, my friend. While stealing the diamonds, you spilled some paint on the floor. You washed it away to hide the evidence, but you left behind one important clue, a puddle of water. Then you sneaked back in here where you hid the diamonds in your pants. <gasps> Oh, Zoot! Now, I demand you put my paints back in their tubes. It takes a great detective to admit his mistakes, and I am a great detective. Your paints will be returned to their tubes. Sniff, uh, see to it, uh, s'il vous plaît. Oui, monsieur. Good afternoon, monsieur. I am Detective Sniff. I would like to ask you a few questions. Where have you been since this train left St. Petersburg? Here in my room, reading and eating chestnuts. Aha! You have given yourself away, thief. While sneaking into the cargo car to steal the diamonds, you spilled your glass of water thus. My water! Then you snuck back here, colored the diamonds brown, and hid them in your bag. My chestnuts! Ah, if they are chestnuts, then would I be able to do this? Hmm. It appears a mistake has been made. <laughs> My apologies. S'il vous plaît, Sniff, clean this mess up at once. We have caused this gentleman enough problems. Oui, monsieur. Pardon, madame. I am Detective Sniff, and I am on the trail of a diamond thief. A diamond thief? Oh, dear! None of the jewels you are wearing would happen to be diamonds, would they? Diamonds? Oh, no. Emeralds, sapphires, rubies? Could I interest you in a cold drink, Detective? It has been chilling since we left St. Petersburg. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Sniff, how rude. Now, quickly, pick up this ice before it melts. Uh, all done, Detective. Uh, very well, then. Uh, we won't keep you, madame. Aha! Our final suspect must be behind this door. Hiding will do you no good, Thief. Quickly, Sniff, the door! Ah! Sniff! Okay. We have run out of suspects. Time to think up another plan. Let us go to the dining car to think. We are pulling into Moscow now. We will contact the local authorities. I am terribly sorry, monsieur. I will clean all this ice and water right away. Ice? Water? Aha! That's it! Stop! Thief! But who is the culprit, sir? None other than that nefarious jewel thief, Lady Cheetah. She has struck again. Blast! That detective is quite a bother. She sneaked into the cargo car, emptied her ice bucket, and filled it with diamonds. When the ice melted, it left a puddle of water on the floor. Then that puddle is not being cooled by cold ice, but hot diamonds. 
here. Catch this, Detective Sniff, but you won't catch me. Adieu, until we meet again. Lady Cheetah may have escaped this time, but we have recovered the diamonds. This calls for a celebration. Hooray! Well, my friend, you could have at least saved some for us. Pardon, monsieur. Play it safe. Come on, Loli. Hilda and Kenny are waiting for us. I'm not so sure. It's cold out there. Before you go outside, there's one thing you should do. Have a grown-up check the temperature for you. If it's raining, there's a cool breeze. Wear your sweater, raincoat, and your rubber boots, please. If it's cold when you go outside to play, wear more clothes and dress the layered way. You'll be toasty warm when you go out to play. If it's really cold and snowing out there, dress from inside out, start with long underwear. Snow pants with a sweater and a jacket for cold weather. With mittens, hats, and scarves, you're dressed the proper way. You'll be toasty warm when you go out to play. Sometimes it's just as much fun to be nice and warm inside. some help, Mr. Rumble? Yes, I seem to be having a little trouble repairing my gate. What seems to be the problem? It doesn't want to stay shut. Here's the answer. A missing screw. Hmm. Thank you. Voila! Thank you, Mr. Fix-It. My pleasure, Mr. Rumble. Helping people is my job. That must be nice, helping people. That sounds like something I could do. Oh! Oh, look. Helper needed for yard work. Contact Mr. Root. I'll go help Mr. Root right away. Oh! oh. <laughs> Glad to have you aboard, Mr. Frumble. I can really use the help. Here's the lawnmower. You can start by mowing the lawn while I go buy a new tree to plant. Uh, but be careful. That mower's pretty strong and can go very fast. Don't worry. By the time you get back, you won't even recognize your yard. Careful, he says. This doesn't seem so fast to me. In fact, it's not even going anywhere. Well, I wonder what this is for. Oh! oh. My, Mr. Frumble sure is fast. He did all his work, and he even pruned the tree, trimmed the hedges, and chopped some firewood. Are you all right, Mr. Frumble? Yes, but I'm afraid Mr. Root's lawnmower isn't. Oh, that's no problem. There's nothing I can't fix. Thank you, Mr. Fixit. This is the second time you've helped me today. I do wish I could be of help. Well, if you want to help me, you can sell this new gas-powered vacuum cleaner I just invented. I could? Sure, just get whatever you can for it and I'll fix the lawnmower for you. Splendid! I'm a born salesman, you know. Mr. Frumble's the name and helping you clean is the game. You have perfect timing, Mr. Frumble. I was just about to clean my house. 
<gasps> Mr. Frumble, what are you doing? Oh, don't worry, Miss Hippo. Now, just stand back and admire. Rumble certainly does a thorough job. Oh, oh my, oh no! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my, oh dear! Rumble! Whoa! Oh dear, what have I done? Now, where did Mr. Fixit's vacuum cleaner go? Oh, there it is. I wonder what that strange noise is. Oh, my. Whoa! Mr. Frumble, turn it off! If Mr. Frumble took my jackhammer, then what's this? This vacuum cleaner must belong to Mr. Frumble. I better return it to him. That is, if I can find him. Oh, oh. Better jump now, before we have to. I wonder where Mr. Frumble is. I could certainly use some help digging this new hole. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, dear. Thank you, Mr. Frumble. What a good helper. Here's the lawnmower, Mr. Frumble. Good as new. And did you have any luck selling my vacuum cleaner? Well, I... So this is your vacuum cleaner. It sure is a beauty. Would you like it, Roger Rhino? Yes, but I don't have any money. But you do have a jackhammer. Good idea, Mr. Frumble. I'll trade my vacuum cleaner for Roger Rhino's jackhammer. Yo, Mr. Rumble! You did <coughs> such a good job cleaning my house. I had to redecorate, and my living room is so beautiful now. Thank you. Oh, you're extremely welcome. You did a very good job today, Mr. Frumble. Would you like to help me some more? Oh, dear. If you don't mind, I think I'll rest for a while. I find that working is just too much work. 